Fine art and documentary fans will be served by the film The Lost Leonardo in select theaters on August 27th, including Chicago's Music Box Theater. Chalk this one up as a mystery of life and our modern desire for status in owning someone else's art. The film is the story of the Salvador Mundi, Latin for Savior of the World, a painting that may or may not have been created by Leonardo da Vinci. It originally was discovered in 2005 when a pair of art specialists bought it from a New Orleans estate sale for $1,175. How it got to America remains a mystery. At first thought to be a copy, on closer inspection was found to have characteristics of an authentic da Vinci and was brought back to life by a restoration artist. This began years of speculation, culminating in a Saudi prince buying the painting for a world record $450 million. What is unique about the film is not the work itself, but the slavish weirdness to how the art world and its lust for money operates. At one point, it is commented that along with drugs and prostitution, the buying and selling of art is basically unregulated. From the early discoverers to the final gavel of the world record sale, the painting is either the greatest find in art history or the greatest example of groupthink fraud and greed in pursuit of dollars from the wealthy sociopaths uh, or collectors. Kudos to director Andreas Kofrode and his parade of participants and experts, especially our critic Jerry Saltz, who makes delicious fun of both the painting and its pretentious atmosphere. The Lost Leonardo, four out of five, opening in select theaters on August 27th, including Chicago's Music Box Theater.